Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at Victor Kalivoda, known as the Forest Killer, who was one of the Czech Republic's most infamous serial killers, having appeared prior to his crimes on national Czech television, appearing on the Czech version of one of the most famous quiz shows worldwide, the Czech version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Kalivoda was born in Slany in the Kladno district, 29 kilometers northwest of Prague in what was then Czechoslovakia on the 11th of September 1977. His mother was a GP and his dad worked for NATO. As a child he was quiet, but deep down he felt lonely and misunderstood. Attending high school in Slany, he excelled in maths and physics, graduating in 1996. He commenced studying at the Faculty of Informatics at Masiak University, the second oldest university in the Czech Republic, in Brno, the second largest city in the Czech Republic. It is ranked as the second best university in the country. Eventually, he transferred to the Faculty of Education at the University of South Bohemia in Seske Budejovice, ranked as the fifth best university in the Czech Republic. His classmates described him as a loner and introverted, as well as silent. He did not graduate from either Masaryk University or the University of South Bohemia in Seske Budejovice. He eventually dropped out of uni and studied at the Czech Police Academy to become a police officer but was not successful. He then became a tram driver before abandoning this career. He then moved into his father's flat in his hometown of Slany. Unemployed, he became increasingly depressed, living off his father's savings. In March 2004, Kali Voda went on the Czech version of the game show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Broadcast on the Czech TV channel Nova, the show ran in its initial run from the 16th of October 2000 until the 4th of September 2005, and then again from the 23rd of March 2016 until the 23rd of August 2017. The show's maximum money that could be won was 10 million Czech krona. It was broadcast in 2008. As millionaire, albeit with a lower winnable amount of 2 million Czech krona. This version was broadcast on the Czech TV channel Prima. Appearing on the show between the 2nd of March and the 5th of March, Kalivoda won 320,000 Czech krona, the equivalent on the money ladder in the traditional Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game show of £32,000 or $32,000. However, 320,000 Czech krona equate to approximately 14,000 US dollars in today's money. Throughout his participation on the show, even in winning his money, Kalivoda was largely emotionless. His entire participation on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire can be found on YouTube if you want to take a look at it, however it is in Czech. Suffering from depression and wandering around Prague at night, including walking on the Nuselsky Bridge, with the intention of committing suicide, Kalivoda used part of a 320,000 Czech krona that he won on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire to purchase two Glock 34 weapons and ammunition which he legally purchased. The Czech Republic is one of the easiest countries in Europe to legally buy a gun if one possesses a firearms license. To get a firearms license, one has to pass a gun proficiency exam, medical examination, and have a clean criminal record. Kalivoda passed all of the necessary requirements to gain a firearms license. During this time, Kalivoda began to show an increased interest in Olga Hepnerova, who was a mass murderer in Czechoslovakia, killing eight people in a vehicle ramming attack in 1973 and was the last woman to be executed in Czechoslovakia. We did a video earlier on Olga Hepnerova, so if you want to check out that case, please go ahead and have a look at it, as it really is a fascinating case in the closed off communist country. Kalivoda planned to commit a shooting on the Prague Metro on the sea line. Covering 20 stations, the line takes 26,900 passengers every hour at its peak. He rode the metro several times with his pistol hidden behind a newspaper but was unable to find the courage to commit a shooting. 
In the autumn of 2004, Kalivoda shot cows on a pasture in southern Bohemia in order to gain enough courage to commit murder. On the 13th of October 2005, Kalivoda shot an elderly couple with his 9mm Glock pistol in a forest near the village of Nedvedice in the Brno Vekov district. Both victims were shot in the chest and head. On the 16th of October 2005, a businessman from Kladno was walking his dog in the woods near Malikovice, 8 kilometers west of Slani, who Kalivoda gunned down. Witnesses picking mushrooms saw a suspicious young man and a parked dark opal. Police soon identified the owner of the weapon as Kalivoda and additionally his mother owned a dark opal. On the 20th of October, he was arrested at his mother's house in Slani with a Glock 34 found inside the house. He did not resist arrest and calmly admitted to police that he was the murderer. He also left many traces at the crime scene, almost wishing to be caught. Psychologists could not find a mental illness and found him to have an above average IQ at 130. It was believed that he did not have the courage to commit suicide and his actions were seen as a way to end his life and simultaneously make himself known. Kalivoda showed no remorse for his crimes during his trial. He later confessed in court that his motive for the murder was given by the inner voice of Olga Hepnerova. Furthermore, in prison letters, he confessed that he was inspired by Hepnerova. On the 16th of April 2006, under section 219 of the Czech Criminal Code, he was sentenced to life in prison. Imprisoned in Valdice, he committed suicide at the age of 33 on the 26th of September 2010 by cutting his veins. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.